Hey guys, I'm here for a little vlog again. I have a really exciting appointment for today, so I thought instead of just taking you for the appointment, I would take you around with me the whole day. It is a Friday, so I have to do so much laundry, uh, workout, and then just some like work stuff. So normal daily activities, but also my appointment today is for a hydrofacial and dermaplaning, which I am so excited about. I'm getting everything done at Meridian Medical Spa. It's in Bonita Springs. And I went there for laser hair removal. <laughs> Life-changing because I've done laser hair removal before, but the machine that they had was literally painless. No exaggeration, legitimately, literally painless. So I'm going there today to get the hydrofacial. I've never gotten a hydrofacial before um, and I've never gotten dermaplaning done. I am a New York State licensed esthetician. So I've done things for myself always historically. The main reason why I want to go get this appointment done is because I am having really rough acne and it's like mostly texture, which let me move you guys around. I've been having pretty bad mask knee and it's rearing its head primarily as like some breakouts, but a lot of congestion and texture. So you guys can see right here, like all these little like bumps, like whiteheads. It's just so much in my skin that just needs to come out. I feel like when I wake up in the morning, feeling, feeling like pee. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. That was such a bad joke. Okay. When I wake up in the morning, because of all my skincare that I've done at night, my skin is significantly better. But depending on what I do the previous day, I feel like from morning until night, nighttime comes and it's just so bad again. And it's so incredibly frustrating for me. I know this is not bad, obviously, I am aware of that, but you know, each person's experience is different. I have never had a lot of skin issues, knock on wood. So for me, this is something I need, I wanna tackle. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. I am ready to work out. Yesterday was a rest day, got some good filming done. I will show you guys what I'm wearing. I don't know if you guys are interested, but I love, love buying workout clothes. And it's always a little bit of a hunt for me because I am a solid mid-sized body shape. And uh, I just like to find things that work for my body shape. So today I have on um, a Lululemon sports bra. It's a high neck. I'll leave it linked down below, whatever it is that I'm wearing. And then my leggings are from a brand called J80. The print on these is so amazing. I love the print. It's really also compressive. The only thing that I don't love is that there is a front seam. It's okay. It's not super uncomfortable. It's just irritating. There's no need, but I really love these. They're super cute. I love how compressive they are. And I like leggings that are compressive. Like if I'm working out, I don't want to be jiggling everywhere. I want to feel like held in this is my Polar uh, heart rate monitor. It just straps around here underneath my sports bra and you wet the electrodes on the back. I've talked about this a bunch before, but it is the best way to track your heart rate. It just syncs to an app on your phone. Heart rate, but also if you are looking to see how many calories you're burning, this is the most accurate because the heart rate reading is so accurate. It's really comfortable. It's like an elastic adjustable strap. Target wise, my heart rate and my calories burned. I don't adjust my food according to calories burnt, but I like to think while I'm working out that like I'm gonna hit at least a minimum number. So it's gratifying to work hard enough to hit that number. So it's all a game, okay? It's whatever you gotta do. Listen, you do you boo, whatever you gotta do, just do it. But this works really well for me. Great motivation for me. Yeah, let's uh, get the day going. We gotta get scooting and finish up all of my workout and such before we head to my facial. I'm so, so pumped. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so just to share with you guys, today's workout is 
500 meters versa climber, a 20 minute EMOM, which is every minute on the mimic, mimic, minute, uh, 12 TRX rows, 12 Russian twists, 12 TRX push ups, and a 30 second plank. So that for 20 minutes. And then again, closing out with another 500 meters on the Versa Climber. If you don't know what the Versa Climber is, let me show you what the Versa Climber is. So pretty much you put your feet here and your arms here or your hands there. And then you literally just climb vertically in the same place. This is both torture and my favorite part because I have accepted the challenge of falling in love with this machine. <laughs> So that is today's workout. I had my hair done for yesterday's filming. And now we can say goodbye because the headband's going on and uh, I'm about to sweat out all, all this straightish, wavyish hair. So, so long, good hair. Okay, you know what? Play some good music, put my headphones in. Let's get into it. I'm done. I look like a tomato. I just finished, this is literally such a terrifying angle, but I just finished my second Versa climber, 500 meter. And now I am doing my stretching. I keep my legs up on the wall whenever I'm done, um, just to like help with lymphatic drainage and such. It's literally this. Like I just put my legs up on a wall and I lie down on a mat for like, five minutes if I'm really lazy like I'll just slide down for 10 minutes and then finish my stretching but that's pretty much how I do my drainage post-workout also the things that I put on my arms are sweet sweat bands they have them for the waist which a lot of people use like Kylie Jenner uses it I use them for my arms too like I just started this week and I really like it it doesn't interfere with working out but it also helps increase sweat in like low circulation areas which is the whole concept of the sweet sweat i look like an egg i'm sorry like this is terrifying like this hairline situation but yeah i'm just gonna do some stretching and uh go get ready for my appointment i'm so so tired but it feels so good the endorphins 10 out of 10 20 out of 100 out of 10 would recommend working out especially when you don't feel like it it feels so good afterwards and actually let me show you guys my Polar, where's my polar? I like to let my heart rate dip below 120 before I shut it off because for me, 120, 130, I'm like still in like the fat burning area. So I have my total calories, it's probably backwards, but my total calories today was 614. 27% um, of them were fat burning. 191 was my maximum heart rate. And my average heart rate was 132 progress for the duration of the workout like what minutes you were in what section i just really like it it's a cool way to track it there's your like fat versus fit marker for the workout and then it saves all your workouts which is cool so i like it it's just like a good way to keep me motivated so yeah i am uh wrapping up here and i'll catch up with you guys when we are ready to go for my facial because i'm gonna need to boogie like hurry up now to get ready okay we're gonna go we're gonna go bye 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 So this is Kira and she is my esthetician today. So she's just gonna do a brief summary of what today's plan is. So we're gonna do a signature hydrofacial today, which is gonna be a machine-based facial. What that's gonna do is exfoliate the pores and hydrate every layer with um, Vortex Fusion. It's going to get infused into every layer and hydrate. We're gonna do lots of cleanses and exfoliation. We're going to be doing a dermaplaning, which is an add-on exfoliation that is going to get rid of all the vellus hair, which is that peach fuzz, and then all that dead skin. That's recommended to do once a month, so it's a very good treatment to have. We also have a hydrogelly mask add-on. Um, these are really neat, especially for you YouTubers that love that stuff. So this <laughs> is going to turn into a jelly. It's currently a powder right now. Um, but it's going to turn into a jelly form, and this is an antioxidant type of add-on. 
Then we're gonna have a full explanation, full hydration, rehabilitation with everything <laughs> we have going on here. Um, so her skin already looks amazing, but we're just gonna make it even better looking. We're gonna clean it out, clear it up, and make it more radiant and glowing. And then at the end, we're gonna do a full face LED light mask. Um, so what this is going to do is just sit on the face. This is very good to do even at home. You can never do it too often. Um, red is to give you um, a healing light. So it's going to help with any inflammation and swelling and help all those antioxidants get into every pore even deeper. And then we always have blue for anyone who has acne that's going to actually kill the bacteria. So lots of high-end products here and treatments. It's one of the number one treatments to have for your maintenance facial. Um, see me at Meridian Medical School. <laughs> Okay, I'm so excited. Perfect, let's go. So what we're gonna do, the first step is gonna be active four. So what that's gonna do is open up the pores and prepare it for a light peel. Okay. Then we're gonna have the glycol prep peel, which is 7.5% glycolic acid and 2% salicylic acid. Um, so those are actually optional as well that you can switch out for higher percentages if you wanted. How are you feeling right now? You have that good activating feel? Oh, for sure. Like yeah. along my jawline, mm -hmm. 100%. But like, and it's a nice tingle. Like it's not like where it's like burning off. It's yeah. just like, I feel like it's working. It's activating. Yes. That, that's, we like the spicy feeling. Yes. We like, we love to know that things are working. Spicy is good. Yeah. And your skin is already looking more radiant and we're not even halfway done yet. And the third step is gonna be that beta HD, which is going to pull everything out of the pore. So it's gonna have that suction to pull out any blackheads, bacteria, gunk, dirt, anything you have going on that's gonna pull it right out. And the best part too is at the end, you get to see your gunky jar. That's my, that's what I'm so excited about. <laughs> We're actually going to do the hydro jelly mask. Oh. Um, we like to do that before the last step because okay. we um, hydrate the skin with the hydro jelly mask. Okay. Um, but then we can actually give you the antioxidant plus it, with the last step of the antioxidants to hydrate it even more. So you're getting a double hydration from both the hydro jelly and the antiox plus from the hydrofacial machine. Itself. Okay. So I know that it's like dim and the light is blue, but like I feel like my face looks so much smoother. At Meridian, I got a special. They do specials like every month for a bunch of different stuff. So this special was amazing and it included the dermal planning, uh, the hydro jelly mask and the hydrofacial, but they have a new client special where it is 149 for a hydrofacial. So it doesn't include dermal planning or the hydro jelly mask, but you can get those as add-ons. But 149 for a hydrofacial is extremely affordable. So yes. if you wanted to come to Meridian to get it, it's in Bonita Springs in Florida. And uh, I absolutely would recommend because for that price, it's actually insane. It's so good. And this last step, what are what is happening right now? So this is the Antiox Plus. So we're using um, Vortex Fusion technology to infuse into every layer of the skin and hydrate every layer. I feel like it's like a little tingly like mm -hmm. around my lip. Yeah, it's um, not yeah. spicy though. It like almost feels like numbing tingly-ish. Mm -hmm. But it feels good. Good. All that floating in there is dead skin, bacteria, blackheads, lightheads. Well, that's not too bad. I thought my gunk would be like way worse. I don't know why I just like assumed there would be like black things in there. That's a good That's gunky crazy. jar. That's crazy. That's so cool. Oh, I'm excited to see my future gunk jars. <laughs> this is after. Do you guys see how glowy and like even and like juicy my skin looks? My skin looks juicy. And all of my texture and like acne, I thought I was gonna be like way more inflamed and agitated she did like one little mini extraction plus 
just by default of exfoliating and the peel and everything extractions for my kind of congestion just occurred naturally so i thought i would be more agitated and inflamed but this is it like i'm shocked and this is literally right after everything i am assuming that tomorrow it's gonna look even better which i'm so pumped for i literally just made an appointment for my um next hydrofacial with lymphatic drainage and dermaplaning for next month because i'm gonna invest in my skin i don't care you can't tell me otherwise it is literally one of the best investments you can make is in your body and your skin i just wanted to show you guys the after because my skin looks so good like no one can tell me anything no one can tell me shit today because this skin this is it this is it for me it's the skin for me it's the skin for me kira did such an amazing job she was so sweet so well informed so educated on like everything she was talking about which is always amazing that's what you always want to pick or look for when you're finding someone who's providing you a service and honestly for how upset my skin has been for the last month and how upset it's made me just like agitated i'm really happy and the other thing too about that that i want to say is i feel bad and i'm not i don't want anyone else with skin issues to feel poorly or like i'm making them feel worse because i acknowledge that my skin is pretty good like the acne and irritation and stuff that i'm experiencing like isn't that bad but i feel like a i'm super hypercritical of myself which i think most people are but also when you do things like youtube videos and your profession is with makeup skincare and all of that seeing yourself on video and getting the footage and testing out products you become more hypercritical and like more aware of your face so i just feel better knowing that like i have a plan of attack to get my skin back to where i want it to be so as i'm talking about my skin please no one take offense to it and you know each person's issue is their own issue and I uh, am super respectful of that so I'm gonna turn on the AC now and get going um, and I will catch up with you guys in a little bit next time I'm doing something entertaining <laughs> swimsuit bottoms more bathing suit items from Aerie it's the perpetual hunt that I'm on honestly at this point in my life What's really cool about this is that gradient effect, you basically can pick from like a plethora of shades. So this is what the palette looks like and that's what the inside looks like. So you can use opposites or you can like use the center to like blend these colors out or if you want like a slightly warmer toned gray, you can like adjust it. It's really cool and the colors are gorgeous. So that is very exciting. I got the with jean dress in the long sleeve black. They don't take refunds though. I got it in an extra large. I mean, the material feels really nice. It's like heavy duty material, but just like a shorter dress with like ruching and a collar. It's got long sleeves. So here's hoping this does nice things. So I thought I would show you guys the with jean dress. Um, I don't really enjoy it. I feel like in theory, it's amazing for curvier girls, right? Cause you have the ruching here, very figure flattering. And like, especially if you have that shape, it's very loose like here for me and I wish it was more fitted um, and just in general I feel like there's just a lot of excess fabric but I think if I did a large it would maybe be too short like this is okay I could wear this comfortably and not feel self-conscious at all so I don't know guys I think I'm gonna have to like exchange it or settle it and don't get me wrong I live for like a long loose sleeve but the shoulders also are like falling off of my shoulders. Like this is too wide. It should be like here somewhere. And this has now turned into a whole review. So that is it. That is all I have to share with you guys. Now I need to go eat because I'm starving. <laughs> Okay guys, that is a wrap for today's video. I hope you enjoyed 
coming along with me and just kind of getting random things done. But most importantly, I wanted to do this for the facial that I got today. So I hope you guys enjoyed that part of the video. I 10 out of 10 would recommend going to check out Meridian Medical Spa if you guys are in the Southern Florida area. That's it, that's all I got. Leave a comment down below for me and let me know what you guys thought about the video. And if there's anything specific you guys wanna see from me, leave a comment with that as well. But until my next video, thank you as always so much for tuning in guys and I'll catch you soon. Bye.